ông quay cho ông chủ động chủ động bắt cá mình to cái chậm thì giảm nạc cá hay nâng đòi bị cá chun từ cầm bị bị cá bị cái lục nôn chía hay đam bị miền cá nông cá tăng không được đánh đầu như vừa xả xây đi xong chơi Thank you, Mr. President, and good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom, and especially good morning to you, Mr. Kung Kim. Thank you for being uh, with us today. My name is Jasper Pao. I'm uh, the International Council for Nguyen Chia, together with my national colleague, Mr. Son Arun, and I will be asking you questions uh, relating to your earlier statements to the OCIJ and to the DCCAM representatives. I will try to speak slowly for the benefits of the translators, and my first questions will relate to the period before the fall of Phnom Penh in 1975. You have stated that before Phnom Penh fell, there was heavy fighting and there were heavy casualties on both sides. Can you give us an estimate as to for how long you were actually in combat before you liberated Phnom Penh? ខ្ញុំជំនាបានតាពីមុននំ <coughs> Chúng dựa bê chúm nôn phải bí khai kỳ mốc bàn dương vì đó đạch tí cầm bình. Chúng bê là khi ông thưa thật cảm phép nên cứ thả bê ngay bê bởi dụt để miên rốt cổ rô, miên cả bàl hoa để tự lượng cổ rô bê hoang. Hay bê thay thay tự hiện lạc bọc bì phùm thông thật bường bê để bọc thật tạm một nhà thật cảm ấy. Cứ thả miên ca cổ rô thật chí bản tòa một tòa bây thì hiện bọc tôm đóng đóng cứ tha miền chun cá lỗ đó là mà thay tam thấm nhất đẹp đi đẹp đi bây giờ này này tự thiệp chợ đây nhà công an cho luôn bây giờ cứ tha miền bắc nhà bạn đang and do you know who conducted the aerial bombardments of your troops và bây giờ cứ dương trong bàn đăng hai bàn cái pháp cân để cân để đăng thà cả ba họ để tới từ lượng đấy chưa cập cả họ american để chìm nuôi ở khang phụ luôn nòn cần đăng bàn này and sầm nua while you were in battle did you find out what the long nol soldiers would do with khmer rouge soldiers that were captured did you for example see what happened to them and did you find out what happened to them did you find out what happened to them did you find out what happened to them but did you find out what happened to them did you find out what I will try to um, clarify. Did you see or did you experience whether or not the Lonno soldiers ever captured Khmer Rouge soldiers? បានទាហានខ្មែរកម្ម
คือทาดอราบนาบาสันเจตยินลุนนอลจับคือกิมโคทาการเงียบเพื่อตรุนกรรมคลังจังตยินกันกลางคือทาประยุทธ์ลูตราเตสลับนั่นนั่นก็เลยบาทาอดเมนจับไป Another question relating to um, the battle for Phnom um, Penh fell. Did no? Let me rephrase that question. I will, I will drop that question and move on to the next topic. And we are now speaking about orders that you. May have received before Phnom Penh fell, and on the case file there is an interview um, with Mr. Heng Samrin, with Mr. Ben Kiernan, dated uh, 2nd of December 1991 and the reference is E3 numbers E3 slash 156-1568 English herein is 0 6 5 1 Heng um, Samrin commanded a division of the East Zone that arrived in Phnom Penh on April 17 in the morning. And he has spoken to Ben Kiernan about his experience during uh, the conquest of Phnom Penh. But my question relates to the period before that. And I will quote a statement uh, by Mr. Heng Samrin about this period. And I quote, at that time, we received plans from the center from high levels just to engage in production after liberation to grow rice, to support ourselves and under no circumstances to ask the population for anything. The army had to support itself, work hard to grow rice, plant other crops to support itself. This was the order to the army. So we worked hard, and in my division, we planted crops and vegetables, and even gave some to the people to eat as well. And of course, my question to you, Mr. Kun Kim, is: uh, Did you receive similar orders? Did you receive orders to not ask the population for anything? Your Honours, we would object to this technique being employed by my friend. Um, the technique of reading to this witness the, an unsworn statement of another individual from a completely different uh, unit, and then asking this witness whether similar things happened to him is not proper. It's an attempt to influence or guide the witness in a particular direction. Um, the other statement has no relevance. Uh, my learned friend can ask this witness direct questions from his own experiences and from his own extensive statements. So that would be our objection. Mr. President, um, with all due respect, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm asking this witness about his experience. It is relevant. Mr. Heng Samrin participated in the liberation of Phnom Penh. He was in the Khmer Rouge army. Yesterday, we saw the prosecution trying to elicit from the witness statements as to what was my Khmer Rouge policy. Clearly, it is relevant that another high-ranking division commander has received orders to not ask the population for anything. That leads back to the question uh, whether or not this witness has received similar orders. I'm not making this up. This is in a statement uh, that is part of the case file and on which, uh, by the way, the prosecution wants to rely. Again, 
whether or not this witness received similar orders is relevant, and I uh, would like the witness to answer this question. បាទក្រៃចំតោះនឹងសម្ហាងហេតុនៃចរិតចំតោះរបស់តំណាងថាក្រីញ៉ាអន្តរជាតិដែលបានលើកឡើង <coughs> เอ่ออนาคตได้ลูกยลเคยถ้าจะบัดจมพูสะใสพตอลในบอดพิสาวดได้គាត់បានឆ្លងកាត់ឬក៏បានធ្វើការកាត់ទំគល់ដោយខ
And there was no objection by the prosecution in the trial chamber did allow that. So now it would appear that there is a different uh, position being taken by the prosecution, a different ruling by the trial chamber, and frankly, not only is it confusing, but it is not in the interest of justice. Thank you. Mr. President, um, thank you. I just want to be clear for the record, we are, we are certainly not objecting to defence using statements of other witnesses which relate to facts on which the witness before us is testifying. The reason I, I rose to object is because a fact was put to the witness that had nothing to do with his prior testimony. Uh, it related to life under the Khmer Rouge after the forced evacuations of the cities. There was no nexus with the evidence that this witness had been given. Um, the witness had not been asked anything about life uh, and, and production after the fall of, of Phnom Penh. This was a completely new topic being ex explored by counsel. My objection was simply that it was not proper to start an examination of an entire new topic by reference to statements of other witnesses. Uh, so I want to be clear that we, we certainly do not object to counsel uh, using statements of other witnesses uh, that relate to facts on which this witness is testifying. It was a technique uh, in this case that we, that we found uh, improper and that was the reason for our objection. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que ce que la Chambre voulait souligner ici, c'est qu'il y avait peut-être une difficulté dans la façon dont la question avait été formulée et dans la référence qui avait été utilisée à un entretien donné par M. Eng Samri. Cette, cette référence ne paraissait pas utile pour poser la question, puisque le témoin aurait d'abord dû être euh, interrogé euh, en fonction de ses propres connaissances. Euh, les déclarations de M. Eng Samuel ne sont pas directement euh, en lien avec euh, les connaissances éventuelles de euh, ce témoin. Donc, le témoin peut répondre à la question telle qu'elle avait été posée, mais tout d'abord en se fondant sur ses connaissances. Si le cas échéant, il y a ensuite des contradictions que la défense souhaite exploiter, pourquoi pas Just to be sure that um, I understand, our position would be that we have in the statement of Mr. Heng Samrin clearly exculpatory um, position on under which orders the Khmer Rouge soldiers operated. Orders were to under no circumstances ask the population for anything. According to Mr. Heng Samrin, these plans came from the center, from high levels, and I am simply trying to verify whether those high-level orders were transmitted to the people much lower down, which would be Mr. Kung Kim. That's all I'm trying to do. So I would submit that is relevant. We're trying to establish whether the positive, positive strategies by the Khmer Rouge leaders were actually transmitted to the lower down. So I would submit that we should be able to Pardon. Il n'y a pas d'objection à la question en tant que telle. Vous pouvez effectivement poser des questions de cet ordre-là au témoin. Ce qui paraissait un peu curieux, c'est d'utiliser une affirmation faite par un autre témoin dès le début de ce questionnement. 
si euh, par la suite vous avez euh, des, effectivement des, des contradictions qui apparaissent, vous pouvez éventuellement faire référence à un autre document qui est déjà au dossier. Euh, cela étant, euh, bon, peut-être que la pertinence de, de, de ces questionnements n'est pas absolue et il serait peut-être bon aussi de penser à changer de type de question. Et par ailleurs, nous n'avons pas d'objection de principe à ce que vous fassiez l'utilisation de documents qui sont au dossier pour euh, servir de fondement à vos questions. Thank you, Judge Laverne, that so clarifies things. That clarifies yeah, things. Um, Mr. Kung Kim, Lok Kung Kim, did you receive orders while you were in the army to not ask the population for anything and to support yourself? បាទពេលខ្ញុំធ្វើកងទ័ពនៅសមរភូមិមុខនេះគឺថាមិនបានទទួលបទបញ្ជាពីការឧបត្ថម្ភស្ដៀងពីពិជាជនឬក៏
กาบัญชีได้หมดบ่าแล้วสมนุนบิฟอร์ท่านที่เป็นลูกวิชาสมรภูมิมาพนมไปตาตุกเปลือกของลูกปานเรียกาท่าลูกปานบังตีเฮียสุพิเรียที่มาการที่จูนเตาถนัดเลยรบลูกจูนจุ่มตุ้มไม่ต่อรบลูกได้เด้บาดในปีประยุทธ์สมรภูมิที่กำลังเป็นนี่ดอยในปีลูกยำในโต๊ะท้องให้เพียรกิจจุจุนจังปมบานทุกการเรียกาตุไอ้ท่าเลือดเย็บมันตอบตัดเลยคือพี่ระเกจนี้แต่ตามตัวหนึ่งที่ได้กินกระโปรงห้องพี่เลยและสมนุว yesterday you told us ทีมสัลมิงโลกบานจุมเรียบจุนตลาดนาธาทีมสัมรองเจนพิกุเตจัดสัปปะปีโตปโปจัดสัปปะปี trial day one two three Third line. Yesterday you stated, and I quote: Upon receiving the order, I was in both the rear and the battlefields. I never met civilians. I only encounter soldiers. We clashed with the soldiers. We never saw civilians in the battlefield. And, end of quote. Just to be clear, is that an accurate statement that you personally did not see civilians in the battlefields? But, during the war, the young people were killed. They were killed. But they were killed. But they were killed. ยังทำอภูมิแต่มีนปฏิเตหินนึกตอนตัวตามแฟกวัดปฏิเตหินนายชมก่อนนายชูแต่ตรีมุกยังน้องตีเทียกันดาลก็ทำมันปุ่มมีนปฏิจีชวนนี่ตัวใบเตหินและลูตราแต่มีนแผ่นกาเวลาตัวเจียบเดียเจียกองบานมีนบาดเอาไอ้ท่าปฏิจีปรวดมีนดาการตามนั่งก็ทำปุ่มแดงขึ้นมีน And then when you enter the city, you have testified that you were charged with evacuating people from their houses. And I would like to read you a quotation from your statement to DC CAN. That is document number 19.96. The English year end is 00638358. And you state in that interview, some people in the houses at that time even owned guns with an experience to use them. Some people shot, shot at our soldiers first while we were climbing their house, and others threw hand grenades on us while we were walking on the streets. And quote. So here you speak about people in the houses uh, at that time that even owned guns with an experience to use them. Could you tell us where these people, civilians, were they soldiers or were they perhaps soldiers dressed as civilians or could you not tell the difference? But the people who are living in the world are living in the world. They are living in the world and they are living in the world. Jeng nak dal menban joh, mau dal day dal jilir tetam panca dal kipap tai tam mikro ni. Jeng jil panca bawah tak lu dal jil nyaman tetul tina nuk na tuj mau ni. Aw jeng bawah samat menu tetam ter jemput day lo dal jeng tetul terai. 
แต่เนื้อแต่เนื้อกลายนี่คือทาจูนกาลยืนดาตื้อเมียนกุปรบายปีเลยจังกากุปรบายนี้หรือยืนอดบานมือคืนมันรู้ได้คืนเนี่ยเทือกกระบายเมาบอดอกรองจังกีเมียนปัญหาเมียนปัจจัยทาวัดเด้ออยลางตื้อจังเป็นเลยยืนลางตื้อนี่คือทาน้องจำเราใบบุญนะหรือเมียนแต่เฮียนนั่งเขียนกับไอเทนปีเนี่ยไอเทนเมียนปัจจัยชวนนั่งปั้นปัจจัยชวนอเมียนโตเจ้บ่าอดมีนขมิ้นขมังสัตย์เนี่ยเดี๋ยวไอ้ปลาปลาบุตรบ้านบ่าจังแผนการนี่นี่นี่ให้เดี๋ยวตัวตัวบางทีทางน้องได้โลยึงตรึงกับติดบ่าตรึงกับติดตัวทางตะบ่อสันจียึงตัวมันกับติดปุ่นน้องกูเวียบังกับตะพังใช่ไหม so สมดู is it a fair Summary of your words. You say that when you went up into those apartments, you could not tell for sure who had been throwing grenades at you. Is that what you are saying? Yes. 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 ไอ้ไม่จมขางกองตัวเพียงไม่ปีคล้ายเมียนบันไปลืมเตี้ยยื่นกับนอทาเตี้ยนี่เมียนแต่เห็นบานในถ่ายจิตขมังในลืมเตี้ยนี่ยังแผ่นกาบอสนาเลือดได้จีนเป็นจีตัวเราบอกย้ำนั้นเอายื่นถือกาลองพูดไทยหนึ่งถือกาบอสมาแต่ลืมเตี้ยนึง And you have now specified your answer to those people throwing grenades. You have also stated, as I just quoted, that, you, that there were people in these houses that even owned guns with an experience to use them, and that some people shot at our soldiers first while we were climbing their house. Can you tell us who these people were that shot? Đăng ký nẹ ná trên nẹ đài bành một hàng cổng bỏ lũng nổ. Và sẽ cam phía những cư thật phía nhất trận đánh cư chỉ thể hiện. Chẳng nơi phía lý đề dương lập đọc nông bình này. Mà mình ta ca chọc bánh ấy chỉ ai chỉ phía tu tơ chọc bánh chứ bà. Mình khá nơi chỉ con, khá nơi chỉ bậc con, khá nơi chỉ bố cư. Mình ca bỏ dút, ta tam cả lên cả lên. Tôi chắc là mình cài chọc bánh nhưng mà ta chọc tu tơ đi Bà Cứ miền ta bậc quân nơi miền cả bánh bọc này And as far as you experience Those soldiers that were shooting at you Would they all be wearing uniforms or have some of these soldiers changed to civilian clothing? Ba, tam ka trup ini je dah ni jeng jungkal jeng lawan kuat hai kemtik ban kerana ai tan terhian. Ba, jeng lawan kuat hai kemtik ban kerana ai tan terhian. And, semua. Did you ever hear during that time about Lon Nol soldiers that took off their uniform and still continued to fight Khmer Rouge? Đọc khóa ai thì hiện hỡi một bánh thì hiện kháng cái ọt đè miền Tết chúng tôi thì hiện kháng cái cứ Bạn đọc khóa ai luôn hỡi phải khóa ai thì hiện Phước ai thì hiện kháng cái mình thì hiện kháng cái Mình cả bánh như thế nào Thank you for that answer. You 
also spoke yesterday about the practice when people were being evacuated. And I will quote from page 104 from the transcript, on the, starting on the eighth line, which is time segment 15.26.07. And your statement is the following, I quote, the reality is that when the people were being evacuated, if there was no exchange fire from the other opponents or soldiers, then, then people would not be shot at. But if there fire from among the civilians, then there would be soldiers inside and we would be ordered to shot at them. But if there were only pure civilians, then we were not ordered to shoot them. So, end of quote. Is it a fair summary of your answer to say that if there was fire coming from somewhere, then you would be ordered to shoot at them. But if there were only pure civilians, you would not be ordered to shoot at them. And ពជាពលរដ្ឋដែលមានការគ្រោះថ្នាក់ដូចជាបញ្ហាຈຶ່ງເຄີຍຖ້າການຈະບົກຈະບົນມະນຸດຊານ <coughs> And as you have testified um, before as well, you or your unit encountered former Long Nol soldiers, and um, you have testified about this yesterday uh, during questioning by the prosecution. And I quote from page uh, 106, line 23, your statement is, when we got to Phnom Penh, soldiers who did not resist and agreed to go along with the people being evacuated, they were spared. But those who resisted, particularly those, who, those soldiers who were within the group, they did not retreat, so we had to shoot them. So, end of quote. You have also testified on this topic before uh, the representatives of DC CAM, which is document number 19.96, English ERN is 0063378. And on that page, it states everyone had to leave, including the soldiers of the previous regime. As for the soldiers, if they took off their uniform, they would have a chance to live longer. But if they did not take off the uniform and resisted, they would be shot to death. Just to be clear on this issue, as far as your experience goes, when you encountered Lono soldiers, they were given the chance 
to take off their uniform and then they would be evacuated with the rest of the population. Is that what your experience was? ប្រសងជាប្រតិទូទៅវាធ្វើដំណើរដោយណែនត្រលទាំងអញ្ចឹងដកទេអាវុធទេរឹងតែទាហៀននៅខអាវុធទាហៀនគឺអត់បានដែ
would you know into how many different areas Phnom Penh was divided after the liberation? បាទបញ្ហាចើនផ្នែកពិតមិត្តពិតប្រកបមិនបានខ្ញុំមិនអាចដឹងថាភូមិភាគមានប្រមាណ <coughs> And to be clear on this issue, no. the area the that you had controlled, had controlled with your down units down after the liberation, was that the same area that you searched with your units during the evacuation of Phnom Penh? Uh, I think you've answered my question, but just to be just sure, sure, I will repeat it once more in slightly different, different form. The, the area that you controlled, controlled with your units after the liberation of Phnom Penh, this small area uh, that you did not leave, according uh, to your statements, is that the same area that you searched on April 17, uh, in the days following April 17, or was that perhaps a different section of the city? Uh, and you said that ពន្ធកិច្ចចូលមកដល់ប្រជាពលរដ្ឋគឺមានការចុះចេញការធ្វើដំណើរតាមផ្លូវជាអ្វីគឺ <coughs> ដល់ដល់ទៅប៉ុណ្ណឹងតែផែនការដែលដើរសម្អាតតាមផ្ទះតាមតំបៃនេះជាផែនការក្រោយដែលប្រជាជនក៏គ្រឹកក្រេងប
and how many soldiers were within this small section of the city that you not leave? I know you've spoken about it before, but I'd like to get a specific answer. Yes, I'd like to get a specific answer. Yes, I'd like to get a specific answer. ជាទាហានក្រុមរបស់លោកនោះបាទទាហានដែលខ្ញុំចូលដល់ទីក្រុងនំពេញនេះអឺនៅក្នុងក្រុមរបស់ខ្ញុំផ្ទាល់គឺ
ដែលគេកំណត់ឲ្យកងពលបីរុយដបនឹងដល់ខ្ញុំមិនដឹងហើយកងពលដែលចេញពីកន្លែងឈោជើងមេធាវីជាប្រពៅសម្អរគុណលោកសាក្សីដែលលោកបានឆ្លើយជាក់លាក់ដែលថាមានវិញ Saying ឬក៏ថាភាពការអីផ្សេងផ្សេងពុំតែដឹងណាពុំដែលថ្នាក់លើយកមកផ្ដាប់ផ្ដាយថាថាភាពការអីដែលត្រូវកើតឡើងឬ
small blocks of buildings north of Wat Phnom. When you entered Phnom Penh on April 17, and when you helped with the eva evacuation of Phnom Penh, did that take place around or in the neighborhood of these small blocks of buildings north of Wat Phnom? ខ្ញុំបំបានចូលរួមជំលៀសប្រជាពលរដ្ឋទេប៉ុណ្ណោះខ្ញុំឃើញប្រជាពលរដ្ឋគឺចេញ <coughs> ແລະព្រះជាប្រតិចេញសោភាតហើយគេប្រគល់ឡោដែលមានផ្លូវហ្នឹងគេឲ្យយើងដល់បោះសម្អាតទៅតាមផ្ទះដោយគេដឹងថ
Mr. President, I would like to follow this proceedings from all these so that the headache from the back pain and concentration we have been doing we will submit it to the carefully. អង្គជំរះបានស្ដាប់ដំណើរសុំរបស់ជនជាតិចោទនុនជាដែលបានធ្វើឡើងតាមរយៈមេត្តាវីកាហ្វេក្ដីប្រកាសសុំទៅតា